Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we continued our journey along the Spanish Mediterranean coast. We sailed from Calpe to Gandia, we had a pretty lively sail, but a lot of fun, and then we finally celebrated the end of the day with a swim and a beer. Nothing coming? Is it like nothing coming, is it? Today has been quite uneventful. It's been very, very calm, almost no wind. We've just been motoring along in flat seas. And uh, it's just been about a mm, 30 mile passage. We're now eight miles from Valencia. I can see it from here. It looks uh, very industrial from the water. Lots and lots of cargo ships uh, coming out of the port. So I think we'll be crossing their path in about five miles time. We'll be looking to spend at least five days or so in Valencia. I think it's uh, one of Spain's largest cities. So yes, looking forward to exploring Valencia and uh, just chilling out here for a while because this will be our last major stop before we um, go to the marina that we're spending winter in. So we're gonna enjoy it while we can. So we're here, we've arrived at the marina office and uh, unfortunately it's closed until four o'clock this afternoon. It's currently quarter past three or almost, so we've got 45 minutes to chill, enjoy the afternoon and uh, I think we're gonna have a cheeky beer. Okay, so today we are going to cycle into Valencia Old Town. Uh, we did end up going into the Old Town very briefly last night. We just got a taxi in because Nick's father is here. He's doing a Spanish course and last night was his last night here. So we went into town and um, had a meal with him and it was really beautiful. So really looking forward to going in today having a bit of a look around, taking the camera, doing some filming and uh, yeah, exploring and showing you guys what Valencia is like. It is kind of mind blowing that suddenly after kind of pootling along the Spanish coast and just going to these quite small uh, like holiday towns really, um, that we're suddenly in this like really big city. It's a major city. It's I think the third biggest city in Spain. So it's huge. So it's, yeah, really exciting to be somewhere with um, a bit of a different vibe. So looking forward to showing you guys uh, around Valencia and hopefully you enjoy it as well. Trying to wake up from a dream This harder than it seems Birds are flying all around Very, very beautiful, very busy, very bike friendly, and uh, we're just next to the central market now. So, um, we're just gonna uh, chain our bikes up, which Nick has just done. Well done, darling, and uh, go and check it out. Nick, all good? Yeah, it's uh, 32 degrees in the sun today. I just, I've just been looking at all the uh, temperature signs. So yeah, it's pretty warm. 
I love getting to a new city and exploring it for the first time. There's just something so exciting about that. Ready to go exploring? Yeah, just content, very content though. Content and sweaty. <laughs> Two things that don't normally go together with you. <laughs> Cheeky Instagram story while we're here. You hate the word what? It drives me insane when you say you man. You man make the cat. You man, you man said this, you man said that. Or you gotta be a bit cute. Be a bit cute. Why is this not focusing on me? There we go. So this looks pretty bloody impressive, to be honest. And World Paella Day, I probably didn't pronounce that right, but I was kind of close, was yesterday. So we just made it to Valencia in time for World Paella Day. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a paella yesterday. Am I saying paella right? Can you say it for me? Paella. Paella. I want to say a paella, but I know that's not right. So I'm gonna try and resist the urge. Yeah, this is the home of paella for anyone who's interested in such things. And I do apologize for my terrible pronunciation of the word paella. Yeah. Uh, Quick pit stop for ham. Ham. Ham on a stick. Ham on a stick. It's bueno, no? Bueno? Muy bueno. Muy bueno, muy rico. Muy rico. Ham on a stick. Why are you talking like that? Uh, no, I'm like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, Success. Come on, let's go exploring. This is a little bit bohemian if you go down the back streets, it's quite funky, a lot of street art, a lot of really funky looking cafes and things. So we haven't even been in Valencia for 24 hours and I think we've already decided that we're going to change our plans and winter here instead of where we were going to winter, which means that it's made a very positive impression so far. First thing we need to do is check out the local boatyard. I don't know much about it. So we need to, I think it's about five miles away from the marina. So we need to go get a taxi or cycle and check it out. Make sure obviously they've got space, make sure that it's reasonably priced. Talk to the marina, make sure that they've got space for us to stay for the next month or so. Uh, we already know that the marina's reasonably priced. Nick, how much is the marina? 24 a night. Um, but that's obviously on the daily rate, so if we're here for more than a month, then there's usually a monthly rate. Yeah, so if all that kind of goes to plan, then we'll be able to winter here, which is really probably a better option than... We're going to winter somewhere called San Carlos de la Repita, which is a very popular wintering spot, which is why we chose it. But it's another 80 miles or so away, which isn't in itself isn't a problem, but it doesn't have very good transport connections. It's got a train, but there's no airport there. Um, and it's a small town, so there's obviously a lot more going on here in Valencia. Um, easy for us to get stuff that we need to do work on the boat. Um, and, you know, more fun to... It, it's, I think, probably a more fun place to live. A more fun place? Funner. More fun. Funner. <laughs> more 
fun place. Get yeah, more fun. This is more fun than that. Anyway, Valencia seems like a fun place to live. Nick's shaking his head at me. Right, today's mission is to find somewhere to winter our boat. So we have decided to take the unusual step of uh, actually going to the boatyard in advance and checking it out. Usually we're not... No, not bundle. <laughs> Usually we're not in a position. <laughs> Usually we're not in a position to um, to do that. So it's pretty exciting that we can kind of check out the facilities in advance. Normally we just have to go on kind of what the internet says. Uh, Marina Pobla. How old Marina Pobla. Marina Pobla. Mission accomplished. Boat yard is all booked and we are getting the taxi back to the marina. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. Cheers, bye.